okay, and welcome to the show. You know, we all know you can't live without water. And if you're not washing in it and not drinking it, well, you can have a lot of fun with it. Whether on the water, in the water, even under the water. On today's show, we have a ball at the beach. That is the luckiest thing you have ever done. Get up close and personal with Ray's. Oh, my God! <laughs> party on the bay. And make a real splash. <laughs> this place is massive. Well, there's plenty of water, mate, that's for sure. You bikes look a bit lost. No, nah, not us, son, but uh, a GPS would probably help. You got one? <laughs> you don't need one of those, just come with me. Watermark in Greensborough is Melbourne's newest water wonderland. There's so much here, seriously, you do need a GPS. Ready to go, boys? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Maurice, why don't you chuck some laps in there? And Coxie, I've got something very special for you. Oh, really? By special, I hope centre manager Drew Hildebrand means no exercise. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Aqua Aerobies class. All right, let's go for it. Pushing down. Come on, Coxie, try harder than that. What's this, the arm version of pulling a hammy? Come on! Push and under! Push it up! <laughs> oh, so wonderful to be popular! The 50-metre indoor pool is just the way to warm up for everything Watermark has to offer. Dale's that? Well, I'll tell you what, can I come and swim lots here anytime? Absolutely, it's one of Australia's favourite pastimes. So this is a spot to get fit, what else have you got here? Oh look, plenty of play space for the kids. You've got toddler pools, you've got learn to swim pools, you have the adventure park, zero depth features, a whole lot of fun. Hey, kids. Here you go. Coxie, that's a toddler's pool, get out of there, you can't swim in there. Haven't you ever heard of a second childhood? <laughs> Hey, mate, you want to race? Go away, how far? 100 metres? You're on, you're on. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh, oh. Before the torpedo, there was the Coxie Comet. Oh. Look, Reese, I know you're upset about losing the Coxie, but I've got something to lift the spirits. Oh, no. This is the Tantrum Alley, one of the biggest water slides in the Southern Hemisphere. Are you ready? Oh. Now, if you love a good adrenaline rush, oh. this thrill seeker slide delivers an absolute flood. Oh, no. It's a lot better than what you look like right now. Oh, right, right. Now I know what you mean by tantrum. I'm just about to lose my temper. If I get scared in here, hang on, I'll get ready for action. <laughs> <laughs> My energy levels are up, so I might hit the gym. Coxie probably needs a nice cuppa to calm down. I've been down the tantrum. Like, uh, I guess if you've got a pacemaker or something, it wouldn't be a great idea to go down that. Uh, yeah, there are warnings on it, but uh, you're a big fella, Coxie. Uh, I'm sure you could handle it well. Peter Utry from Banyul City Council says Banyul has invested $45 million in nine years creating this state-of-the-art fun and fitness playground. dropped 800 calories. Good workout. But before I leave, there's one water attraction I haven't tried. Go 
Why, mate? Oh, there you are. Why here? Hang around long enough, mate. You'll find out. It's a really nice view of the slide from here. When we come back, cruising the bay Woo! in party mode. Hey, Lee, you like the water? I drink plenty of it. It's really good for you, Coxie. Yeah, I know that. I mean this water. I reckon we're going to have some fun today. Healthy fun, I hope. Hey, of course. Now, I love a day out on the water, so Lee and I are exploring what's on offer at Melbourne's Docklands. Oh, check that one out. Cut it out. That's the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Hey, guys, we've got plenty of room. Come on board. Come on, mate. <laughs> Coxie, we can have a party up here. What, you, me and Ted are our closest friends? <laughs> <laughs> Good to go out on the water much? Uh, no, not at not all. Really uh, this is I'm city bound. Yeah. So city bound. Yeah. Good day at the office then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really love a boat like this. Join the club, mate. What, you too? No, mate. Literally, join the club. That's what we are. Gary Freeman is president of the Pleasure Cruising Club at Docklands. What do I get if I join the club? You pay a monthly subscription fee and you get access to a boat from $3.99 a month. We train you, we get you on the water, you have a great day out, you drop the boat back off, we clean it, maintain it, do everything. So in other words, a beautiful boat like this, I don't have to own? No, not at all, mate. To become a member, you must have a boat licence. Luckily, I do. And undergo a few hours training. Right, what do I need to know? Well, first thing, Coxie, you need to know the depth. So now we're at 20 feet. This is a VHF radio where you can do a distress call. Yep. Move forward, you just move the throttles forward. And then move it back. All right. Five to ten hours of training, and club members can go anywhere inside the bay. Where do you like to go? One of my favourites is off Black Rock. Drop an anchor, have a swim. You've got the barbecue on the back. Speaking of having a good time... Hey, save some of that champagne for me, will you please? You can't <laughs> drink, Coxie, you're driving! Our day on the bay is over all too soon. But don't worry, I'll be back <laughs> to pick up the keys. Do you ever notice how the sea air gives you a bit of an appetite? Mm, any kind of air, actually. Right about now, I feel like Italian food. Sounds like a great idea to me. Benvenuti. Come on, come in. Come Thank in. you. Anthony J is co-owner of the Bene restaurant on Central Pier, right opposite Dockland Stadium on Harbour Esplanade. <laughs> when you said come in, you meant come right in. Well, I didn't tell you this, Coxie, but this is one of my favourite Italian eateries, and I want to find out why it's so good. Marissa, what pizza are we making today? Today we're going to make the sausage. Okay, and that means? Italian sausage. Ah, yum. What goes on first? You can put the tomato. Okay, and this is homemade Napoli, yes? Yep. Co-owner Marissa Trevain is the head chef. What's the secret to a really good pizza, Marissa? Um, lightly topped, thin base, fresh ingredients. Some Italian sausage. And you're using raw meat here? Yes. What is in this? It's a pork, fennel and chilli. You're not shy about giving away secrets, <laughs> are you? Is this your favourite kind of pizza? Yes, it is. That's it. Fantastic. Perfect. It looks beautiful. I'm so excited about this pizza. Let's get it in the oven now. So passionate are they about their pizzas here, they even teach others how to make them. When we host our pizza making classes, we have a ball. So I'm going to get you to pick that up. Yep. And together, yep. we'll try an old traditional sort of a pizza twirl. No worries. You first. Know. If it well. Yeah, okay. You ready? Go. Close enough for me. Give it another one. Nice and thin. We don't like crusty edges. Words not in my vocabulary, mate. That thin thing. <laughs> now, here we go. I just don't need a drum roll for this, you know that, don't you? Hey, on time as well. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> 
Pronounce the name of the restaurant. Vabene. And translated means all good. All good. All good. So it's Vabene. Tutto bene, Vabene. The thing that I really love, why the long tables? I think I know, but you tell me. Look, it's a, it's a philosophy that we share as a partnership, Marissa and I, about uh, family, friendship, good food, good, good fun. Life, life for an Italian is all about having fun. So eat, drink, good times. Oh, that is good pizza, isn't it? Feeling that heat? No. I reckon you used the right amount. I don't believe you. How is it, guys? Bellissimo. Very good answer. <laughs> Rubbed in. Ah. <laughs> After the break, Sherry Lee takes the plunge with some jaw-dropping creatures. Oh, <gasps> she's slimy. about man-eating creatures at the best of times. So my visit to the Australian Shark and Ray Centre at Dandenong is making me just a little bit nervous. I see everybody feeding them with a pole. That's right, yeah. So we don't uh, let you guys feed with your fingers. Um, always with a stick. OK. A stick? Now I am getting worried. And these fellas look really hungry. I've heard there was a three-metre shark here. So we did have a tawny nurse shark, yeah. It was a bit too cold in Melbourne at the moment, but we're hoping to have one back um, for the summer holidays, so that'll be exciting. I think I'm pretty happy about that one. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, I'm better get ready for dinner, yeah, then. Yeah, really. <laughs> Come on. This is one of the world's largest feeding experiences of its type. Now, Tanil reckons these amazing creatures are really friendly, but I'm not so sure. So, Tanil, what fashion options do I have? You've got two options. You can jump in a wetsuit or you can use one of our waders and the waders keep you dry. Do I have to get in the tank? Of course you do, yes. <laughs> All right, I better go the waders. OK. <laughs> Survival beats style every day. Harry high pants. Jellies are off. Gumboots are on. What a fashion statement. Turn me on. belting action, I reckon. <laughs> I believe there's safety in numbers, so I gate crash a children's birthday party. OK, call me a scaredy cat. OK, guys, it's really important that we treat the fish with respect, OK? Got to remember that you're entering their home, but otherwise, guys, you have heaps of fun, all right? To the tanks. Without any fear, these kids head straight for the giant ray, leaving me with the littlies. Phew, thanks, guys. I'm coming in. Are these barbless? They are barbless, actually. A lot of the fishermen will call them banjo sharks. Oh, really? Yeah. Just because of the shape of their, yeah. their body and they their pack a little banjo. Their real name is Southern Fiddler Ray. So who do you think's more scared, the little kids or the adults? Sometimes it's more the adults, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, you do get a few screams out of the adults, but um, yeah. So I've conquered the little ones. It's now time to feed Gizmo the big dog. Who, you ask? Well, Gizmo is a 300 kilogram stingray. Ah, oh, here he comes already. <laughs> I'm not ready for you yet. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> but it seems there's someone a little more scared than me. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, she's very... Oh, she's slimy. Who's the birthday boy? Yeah, do you want to come and feed? Okay, she's fine. She's just saying hello. That's it, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give it a pat? Oh, it's slimy. <laughs> it's really slimy, isn't it? <laughs> the Australian Shark and Ray Centre is open from 9 to 5 every day and there's no need to book ahead. Oh, and that three-metre shark is expected back before Christmas. Unfortunately, I think I'll be too busy shopping for presents. Thanks very much for that, Tanil. That's all right. Don't go without your certificate, though. Oh, a certificate as well. Another one for the wall, Coxie. Coming up, hitting the beach in style and saving bucket loads with my mate's rates.
You know, that indoor stuff was great. But what about getting out in the fresh air on a day like today? How good is it? And what better place to do it than here at St Kilda Beach, mate? We're going to have some fun today. Mate, if we don't have some fun today, it's our own fault. Hey, Coxie. What's he want? Come over and play with us. Oh, no, he wants us to play volleyball. You see, she's good, too. Come on. Oh, lucky I'm good at this. You're right, Rhys. When it comes to beach volleyball, they don't come much bigger than Alistair Lynn, known as, uh, Big Al. Hey, guys, if we get in trouble, there's a target in the black shirt in the middle. Go for them <laughs> if you don't know where to go. Here it is. Go, yes. 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 There he is. <laughs> that felt so good. That is the luckiest thing you have ever done. Well, that's about it. Thanks very much. <laughs> On a hot summer night, if I just rock up, yep. I don't have to be in a particular team. Can I just get a go? No, well, we can always find friends for them. If you rock up without your mates, and we can always find someone for you to play with. You'll find Big Al and his mates on St Kilda Beach outside Republica Restaurant every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday nights. We're in. We're in. We Republic supplies amazing pizzas. Hey, hey, you're talking about pizza and a beer. Wait, wait for me. Uh, thanks, Big Al. Thanks, Oxy. Pleasure. Sitting in prime position on St Kilda Beach is Republica. Today, the bar and restaurant is packed to the rafters, and Chef Dave Capay is working overtime. What is the most popular dish? What, what do people eat? Beautiful seafood, linguine, uh, barramundi with cauliflower risotto. Uh, our pizzas are pretty famous down here in St Kilda. Fish and chips is very popular here. We use beautiful, fresh barramundi. Barramundi? Barramundi. What an impressive feast here, mate, but it's not the only impressive thing about Republic, is it? They certainly come out when the sun comes out down here in St Kilda and uh, we enjoy being down here as uh, obviously other people do as well. Tom Doolan owns Republica and on days like today, he's got his work cut out for him. Being on the beach in St Kilda, there's certainly a lot of activity always going on. You've got the volleyball out the front, some kite boarders, paddle surfers, uh, even the guy that rides past the cowboy with his uh, Zorro outfit. Which adds to the experience. I mean, a day like today is absolutely pumping. Do you need a book, you know, when you come down on a, on a beautiful day like today? We do take bookings inside the restaurant only. Uh, outside areas are all casual dining, so therefore it's a first-in, best-dressed sort of situation. I'll tell you what, I don't think you could fit another thing in. That was amazing. Oh, you two blokes are so considerate. What, you left me about eight chips? You're a kitchen out there, mate. That's all you get. Executive chef, mate. Don't forget. Hey, Coxie, one sec. The drum hasn't turned up. The band needs you up on stage. You know how many times I've heard the drummer hadn't turned up. I can't believe this. All right. That's right. I have to admit, even without food, Coxie is pretty good on the drums. I still got it. We all want to stay financially afloat. Well, you can save bucket run by diving in to Coxie's mate's race. How did that happen? Soak up the atmosphere at the stylish four and a half star Quest Dockland Service Departments. Now, normally you'd pay nearly $500 to stay in a one bedroom apartment, but the first 100 of my mates to call will pay a fraction of that, just $199, and that includes room service, brekkie for two, internet, and free access to the YMCA gym and pool next door. Plus, you'll be staying in the heart of Docklands with waterside cafes and Etihad stadiums right on your doorstep. This terrific deal is subject to selected availability until the end of January next year, so jump on the phone now. Searching for a family escape? Well, look no further because the Big Four Beacon Resort in Queenscliff has you covered. Usually, a family of four would pay $1,048 for a four-night stay in a fantastic villa. But for the first 100 of my mates to call, that price plummets to just $540. And have a listen to what you get. 
Kids Eat Free at Terranda Estate Cafe, unlimited mountain bike hire and 20% discount off a massage in the resort's new day spa. Plus, there's an indoor swimming pool, spa, barbecues, a jumping cushion and games room. This great deal is valid until August 31 next year. Don't delay. Call now. If you want any more info about tonight's show,